is tight, this one. It's a two man job now. I can't get them all on. Yeah? I mean, <laughs> breathe in. <gasps> Seriously, I'm panicking. Can you put the camera down? Get it off, stop laughing. All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to jump straight into this one. I wasn't actually planning to make this video, but uh, me and Al have been talking. Basically, you may know that recently we moved the hashtag office out of the house and we've got a bit more personal space back again. And we're trying to kind of declutter our lives and we've been talking about things that we can probably get rid of or make space for. We don't want to become hoarders, right? And there's a certain thing that Alex thinks I hoard. Okay. Al, what, what, what are you saying that I hoard? Football shirts, right? I love that you love football shirts, but you've got so many, Spen, and you don't wear half of them. I, I have a lot of them, and you are right, I haven't worn some of them in a while, but they've got memento value. I know, memento. I get that, but you've got memento. so many, you've taken over a whole wardrobe in our spare room. Yeah, this so is true. Can you sort through them? What are you saying? You can keep them. If you wear them. Right, I was saying I can only keep a football shirt if I'm going to wear it, okay? I'm going to take that literally, alright? I'm not going to wait a few months to prove to you that I wear the shirt still. I'm going to wear it today. Every shirt I want to keep, I'm going to wear today in one go, okay? This has been loosely inspired by Joey from Friends. Could I be wearing any more clothes? You know the one. Is it maybe in, it, can we put a clip? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to try and wear every football shirt I've got. If I can't get it on my body and like wear them all, then I'll either throw that shirt away or I will give it, offer it up to one of you guys or to charity or something if there's any value in it for you guys. I don't know. Some of the shirts are pretty special, some of them aren't that special. So should we go and look at them? All right, so this room here is the main area. Now you see a few shirts here, you're thinking, oh, I can't there's a few shirts here. There's not loads. Like, there's a couple of football shirts. We'll go through them. But this is the breakout bit. This is what we're looking at, guys. We have a lot of shirts in here, right? We've got to get through all of these. There's a story to every shirt. And I've got to decide if I can let them go. If I don't want to let them go, I need to get them on my body. They're mostly all the same size as well. There's actually loads more scattered around the house as well. The thing is, you keep getting new shirts, so they keep being added to the pile. I know. Well, we're going to get that pile together now, and we're going to find out which ones we're keeping. Let's go. Right. I've created a pile of shirts I'm going to try and wear because I want to keep them all. One top at all times gets to live on the mascot. I think you'll allow that. Yeah? Yeah, of course. So we'll go with the 30 games, 30 days one right now, given to us by West Ham yesterday, the West Ham away kit. I've obviously got it on backwards because of the 30 games, 30 days, which pretty much starts now, as you'll see in this video, very soon, 30 games kicks off. This pile down here is a pile of tops I'm going to give away. They're very special. A lot of them are very limited edition, and a lot of them have got some great stories. Through, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about how you can win them, if you want them, and why I'm giving them away and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. But right now, Al, we need to crack on. I need to start wearing some tops. So do you want to take over filming duty? You're going to get very hot. I've got to have a strategy for this, okay? Strategy's got to be start with the smaller tops, because I need to go bigger. And my weight has fluctuated a little bit over the years. So I've got some that are tighter and I've got some that are bigger. This bad boy is the tightest top I know. It's the Japan National Kit. I bought it in Japan with Alex this year. It's nice. Um, it's a medium, but it's really tight. So we'll start with this one. Okay, first kit going on. As I said, it's quite tight. We need to allow room for other kits to go on. So right now, Alex, I'm keeping the Japan kit, <laughs> right? I get to keep it because I've got it on. Next, okay, I'm gonna probably go Real Madrid. Now, is that your reason I'm picking this one out? It's quite topical. This Sunday, as I mentioned in my last video, I am presenting the UK and Ireland coverage of the El Clasico. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. This is a huge deal for me. I'm the Gary Lineker. I'm presenting the pre-match, um, half-time and post-match sort of uh, studio analysis with some special guests. I didn't think I'd ever get to do something like that. That is really cool. Obviously, I want to keep this Real Madrid top. I got this when me and Castro went to Real Madrid and played FIFA with loads of Real Madrid players, something I've been lucky enough to do twice, actually, because I also did it in Chicago. So I definitely want to keep this, but if you can support me by tuning in on Sunday to watch the El Clasico, it's much appreciated. It's on 11 Sports. It's the first ever El Clasico on 11 Sports. They have all the rights now to not only La Liga, to Syria. They get in the UFC soon as well. So, uh, and they've got other leagues as well. So I really recommend it. It's £5.99 for a month pass, or it's £59.99. Uh, pounds for a whole year and they've got like 20 hours of football in there a week so check out the link in the description if you can watch me present the El Clasico Real Madrid versus Barcelona me I very much appreciate it this Sunday 28th of October meanwhile enough of the jibber jabber let's get the top on I might make a big mistake here this is quite big I think this is when I was in my larger years I'm gonna come back to this top new hashtag oh, the new hashtag home kit I'm not gonna lie guys I love it I love it. There is no way this is leaving, all right? I'm getting it on. And you can get your own as well. Check the link in the description. <gasps> oh, 
fresh it is. That's how fresh it is. It's down the label on. Right. Japan and hashtag Spain. Next. Let's think about this. Well, I'll just keep it consistent. I'll go hashtag away. It's already. Oh, do I look hench? <laughs> right. Uh, You're three okay. shirts in. I'm already thinking this is going to be a struggle, to be honest. Amsterdam, Ajax. Got given this when I presented the fuck playoffs by the guys from Ajax. I'm going to have to park it for now. Only because I need to make sure I've got the really important ones. Ajax is important, but there's some more important ones on here to me. For example, the old hashtag kit. I mean, I, why I'm even having to explain why I want to keep this out is, is, is disgraceful, but obviously I want to keep the old hashtag kit. Got to put it on got then. Got name on the back as well. So that goes on. Oh, wow. The original hashtag kit. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta keep this as well. So this has to go on and I'm feeling sweaty already. Oh so yes. I've got to get all the, ha the hashtag kits are the most important ones for me, so I've got to get them on. I applaud you for putting on the home, the away and the third kit. Like, I would accept that you just <laughs> would keep those. Right, let's talk about this kit. It's a Liverpool kit. Why have I got a Liverpool kit? Especially with my name on it. I played at Anfield once, a couple of days after the second Wembley Cup. Great privilege. Um, never in a million years would you see me wearing a Liverpool kit, apart from when I had to, to play in the game. I kept it because it's a great memento, because I'm very lucky to get to play at pitches like Anfield. But if I've got to wear every kit I want to keep, then this has to be parked for now, because I can't guarantee that's staying. This one as well, I mean, it's a beautiful kit, Miami kit. I bought it just because I went to Miami and I, and, I, and I saw the kit and some posters and I thought it was very colourful. You don't see these colours very much in football. But that has to be parked for now because I've got bigger priorities. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, this Belgian kit is pretty cool. And this is also quite small, so let's get this on. Really got to go through which ones are really important to me right now. I mean, this one is signed by Marco Royce. This is a Dortmund kit. When I was presenting um, the uh, Gamescom, I was presenting uh, the sort of Fuck Live, they call it. I think that was for FIFA 17. I did it with Castro as well. Me and Castro shared some good memories over the years. This has to stay. Signed door. Hang on, is this large? It's large. Okay. This goes on later, guys. That goes on later. Wembley Cup kit's large. Because we've got another Dortmund kit. This is a Dortmund kit for my, my Dortmund career mode. If we've got the Marco Royce kit, it's a different kit. It's a couple years later, but obviously it's very similar. And this one's signed with by Marco Royce and has his name on the back. We've got to prioritise that one. So this one is going to get parked for now. Like that Dortmund kit could be getting to, to a lucky uh, recipient. Oh, this is a special one. Sidemen game. Played in the Sidemen first game. Got the win. Got my name on the back. Number six. I'd like to keep this, but it's a large, so we'll go back to that. Because we're still on the mediums right now. Big fan of this kit. This is the Rayo Vallecano kit. Celebrating diversity in football. Equality. Thought it was really cool when it came out. The rainbow colours, so I'd like to keep this. Feels like it could be quite a big fit, though. Mm. So I'll park that one as well, because I've got to be clever here. I love this kit. I love this kit. Really hard to buy. I bought this off eBay. It's like a Star Wars concept kit by Adidas. Um, this is the Jedi version. Sponsored by Jedi Sporting Goods. On the back, Luke Skywalker number seven. Nice. That's a very cool kit. I've worn that in a few videos. <sighs> it's hot. <clears throat> okay. We're good? Right, these are my England kits from Russia. Went to Russia in the, in the summer, obviously. This is tight, this one. <laughs> That stays. Gotta go home as well. It looks like you got a bit of a hunchback. <laughs> Name on the back. England home kit. <coughs> Two more. In the bank. Come on, we can do this. I really like this Spain kit. I really like this Spain kit when it came out. It has no real significance to me. I'm gonna have to park that one. Likewise, this one, Slovenia. Me and mm. I went to Slovenia for West Ham Europa League game. You don't see many green kits. That's why I bought it, really. I like it. I think I've only worn it once. I can't, I can't guarantee we're going to keep it. Got all these West Ham kits to get on. Oh, God. I've still got like 20 kits here. This one. I, again, I bought this on, on, online. I just like the look of it. Rapid Vienna. Really nice colours. I'm starting to think Alex has got a point. I do have a lot of kits. That's going to have to be parked for now as well. Parked your sons. Oh, this one I've actually worn so many times. This used to be my gym top like for years. It's the GB Olympics top from 2012. Actually not a football kit. Um, well, it is a football kit. It was, the, it was I think it was the kit that the football team wore. I'd like to keep it. I've worn it a lot. I'm not sure anyone else would want it. It's going to have to be parked for now because I'll come back to these kits, guys. I have to come back to it. This is a sick kit. This is a sick kit. Spanish league kit. Uh, Cultural Deportiva Leonisa. It's and a smart kit. Sports formal is the correct phrase. Well, it feels quite big though. It's got a bit of room in there. 
We'll come back to it. We'll come back to that. I was going to keep this one. It's FIFA 19. I've got loads of exclusive FIFA kits that have been sent to me that I'm going to give out at the end of this video. I was going to keep this one because it's the newest one and it's got my name on the back. But I think we have to wait. I might have to give it away because I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This one's relatively tight. This one has to be kept. This is last year's Wembley Cup final shirt. Name on the back. Hashtag United. It's the only hashtag United Wembley Cup shirt in existence with my name on it. Oh, it's going to be hard to get on, guys. I might need your help here. We're gonna have to, it's a two-man job now. <laughs> You're so, like, big here. Look at this. Retro West Ham kit, yeah? Wait till you see the name on the back. If you know, you know. Early FIFA series on my channel. Danny Whitehead doing bits. I've got a top of his name on the back. 18 was the amount of goals he scored for me, I believe, in the Forever Blowing series. I have a lot of West Ham kits here, and if I could, I'd keep them all. And I've made a rod for my own back here, literally, so that's going to have to be parked. Could be going to, coming to one of you guys. Maybe Danny Whitehead wants it. Plays for Salford City now, with uh, Class 92, Gary Neville and that. Oh, look at all these West Ham kits. So many nice West Ham kits. There's no duplicates in here. They all look so similar. I've got the same kit from the centenary year. 100 year anniversary of, uh, of West Ham in 1995. Home and away. They're quite big and baggy, as, as were the kits back then. So, um, we'll come back to them. <laughs> to this big pile. <laughs> oh, Gushingtons. Can I get special dispensation for West Ham shirts? Do I have to put all these on? I feel like because they're your club, yeah. that should be allowed because you've, you've got them throughout the seasons. Whereas if they're just like random clubs, it's different. I just feel like I don't want to give away West Ham shirts. They're from different years. I'd like them when I'm older. I don't want to put them all on, but I'll put one of them on as a gesture. Okay, fair. Final season at the bowling. We've got quite a few years prior to that. Adidas though. As you know, I like Adidas kits. Why well, hashtag Adidas now. And uh, I like the West Ham Adidas kit a lot. We've got an away kit here. Pretty snazzy. Also final season at the bowling. Really good kits that year. First season at London Stadium. The new badge. We've got... Last season, I think, was this one. Second season at London Stadium. Nice colouring. I like that one. And then this year is this one with the irons on the back. Irons. Irons. So we'll put this year's one on as a gesture for you. Too this lovely. one goes on quite easy. That's good. That was needed at this point in time. Let's go Real Oviedo. I've got three Real Oviedo. No, four Real Oviedo shirts here, as you know. Shareholder in Real Oviedo. Got a big history with the club. Love Real Oviedo. I've been out there many times. This one's quite big. It's an Adidas one. I think we'll be able to get that on towards the end. I like that kit a lot, so I definitely want to keep that one. It's got my name on the back. That's the one actually we were given when we went to play against Real Oviedo's staff team, Hashtag United. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. I like that. Yeah, it's a really nice number, isn't it? It's really snazzy. You know what I'm thinking is, this is the original Real Oviedo top from my career mode. It's the oldest one I've got. I don't mind giving this one away. If someone wants a Real Oviedo top there, limited edition. Hard to get hold of old Real Oviedo kits now. And I wore this a lot. Yeah, it's been washed in my career mode. So that could be coming to one of you if you want it. This is, if I want to keep this kit, England, name on the back. I'm going to have to get it on now. It has to go on now because it's tight. This is a tight fit. I might have left this one too late, guys. There's no going back. I'm not, I'm not taking these off now. I've got 20 <laughs> shirts on, mate. <sighs> the key is not to breathe. The key is not to breathe and don't eat carbs. Scotland kit. Why have I got a Scotland kit? Hashtag United played in Scotland about six months ago. And Scottish FA were kind enough to give us all Scottish kits. I like this kit. I like the colouring of it. It's hashtag colours. But uh, it's not a priority for me right now. I'm sorry Scottish people. I'm actually coming to Scotland soon. 30 games in 30 days. I'm coming to Scotland. So I love Scotland. But not enough to put them over these kits. I've got two Juve kits here in the pre-Ronaldo era. I liked them before they were cool. This is a really cool zebra style Juve home shirt. But the, the pink one is quite rare. I quite like the pink shirt. I'm going to prioritise the pink shirt for now. The Juve kit's staying though, I'm happy to say. That's on, that's locked in. Come on. This is a really cool shirt. Really cool concept kit. Made by the guys from the Concept Club I got sent. I, I, I can't put this on at this point. There's too many other important kits. That's going to go to someone. Someone can have that. Someone can win that at the end, along with all those other kits, which I'll go through at the end. New York Red Bulls. I used to use them in FIFA a lot when I used to play against Seb. Back when they had Thierry Henry and I think a guy called Luke Rogers up front. They were decent. I used to, I, obviously, I beat Seb at FIFA all the time, but they were the team I used to use against him. It worked a charm. Wow. Uh, I can't prioritise the Red Bulls kit right now, though. Sorry. This is an England top. This is a 98 top when Michael Owen came through and did what he did. It's when I kind of fell in love with football, to be honest. This needs to stay, if I can get it on. Essentially, I'm prioritising England, West Ham, Real Oviedo, hashtag. They're prioritising, and then everything else is just really nice kits that I like. 
Oh, that's got a big collar. Yeah, the collar might have, that might be a mistake. AC Milan kit, lovely number. You can't beat a classic red and black, the Rossoneri, I believe they call it. And I've already got a Juve kit on, so I feel like it's fair. I don't support either club, just like Italian football in general. Grew up in the era of AC Milan and Juve dominating things. Paolo Maldini, oh. Clarence Seydorf, Cafu. Oh, oh, hey, mamma mia. That is tight. <coughs> At this point, I'm gonna stop trying to make my hair look decent. <laughs> I'm a mess. Guys, we've got a lot of layers on here. Second year Wembley Cup against uh, Weller Wanderers. This will, this will fit quite nicely because one of the annoying things, the only annoying thing about that Wembley Cup was that the kits were massive. So this, this is good. Uh, Fits perfectly. This is first. Do you know what Wembley you Cup. look like right now? What? An American football player. Oh, a Michelin man. <laughs> This is the first year Wembley Cup. Yeah, that kit is actually up on my wall there. That, that one's the one I wore at the game uh, in the first Wembley Cup. This was a spare one that I got because I wanted to obviously keep one that wasn't in a frame. Let's try and get this Wembley Cup on. Don't forget, there's another Wembley Cup coming, guys. 25th of November, a month from now. Get your tickets in the link in the description. Episodes are going on my channel very soon. This is feisty. Four teams involved. Semi-finals and finals at Wembley. <sighs> okay, locked in. This is quite an important one. This is probably the biggest kit I own. So I might say this till last. This is when I played for England, technically, and I got this England cap. Um, you should wear the hat. No, come on. England, Germany, played with the likes of Rhea Ferdinand, David James, lots of celebrities like Jack Whitehall, Russell Howard, um, loads of people, and so many big names played. We were five nil down when I came on. And at Upton Park, last season at Upton Park, I got to play there in front of a crowd of 20,000 people. When I went on, finished seven two. That's all I'm saying, it's two all with me on the pitch, played centre back, I'm just saying. Not my words, but they are my <laughs> words. Actually, I'm not putting this one on yet. It's too, that's the last shirt that goes on because it's big. Now we can start working our way through this pile. Have I got to put all three Oviedo tops on? Are you can give me special dispensation for Oviedo as well? No. You're not giving me... Come on. I think <laughs> okay. I'm not involved in it. I know it's a bit of a loophole that she's letting me keep the West Ham and the Oviedo shirts without wearing them, but look at me. I'm a mess. Come on. I'm giving away a lot of shirts here, people. Have a heart. I want to see sweat. Right, this one, if I want to keep it, I've got to put it on, don't I? Mm-hmm which is easy because it's massive. Tuxedo top, locked in, sports formal, confirmed. I like this top, I like what it stands for. It's like a fight to get out of the top every time. No, I can't, no top stays. Dortmund shirt, I want to keep this. As I am giving one Dortmund shirt away, and it's a signed shirt, I don't really want to damage it. Can I just hand this up? Yes. This top I'm having serious doubts about. Really? I like it. It's very rare you get to wear a colour like this. I like it. Liverpool top, I'm going to give away. I'll tell you this right now. If anyone wants a Liverpool top with Spencer 6 on the back, that can go. I've got the video to remember that day. We'll try and get it on for the lads, won't we? It's what we do. This is basically what I look like when Alex met me at uni. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, we're going to try and get Ajax and Real Madrid on because I like to have a kit from like as many countries as possible. Okay, Ajax kit stays. El Clasico this Sunday. I'm presenting it. Don't miss it. This has got a buttoned up collar as well. Yes. Come on. See. You like that? But the side profile's the best. See. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> We're in a good position. I look good. <laughs> These tops. Oh my god. There's so many here. Like the, the Dortmund one's going away. We're giving away that Dortmund top. That's fine. Oh, I've actually got the Spain top. I wear quite a lot still. I wear that for football. Slovenia can go. Vienna's going. I'd like to get this Juve top, to be honest. Real Madrid to Juve. This is what's known as the Cristiano Ronaldo. See! Okay, enough of that. I like the Spain kit. I'd like to keep it. I'm giving away a lot of decent kits here. And you always need a good supply of white kits, because often in five-a-side games, I think they always want you to play in white. This is tight, though, I tell you. Oh, this is the hardest one yet. This is the hardest one. I need help. I need help. Okay, calm Stop. down. I can't breathe. I want the red to keep it. I feel like I've just been born. <laughs> I can't get it on with one hand. We have a problem here. <laughs> ah, Spanish top stays, vamos. Okay. <clears throat> you know, people like a hench, they stand like this permanently, like, got massive back muscles. It's nice to know how it feels. We'll go side men top next. <laughs> it's a workout. This is a workout. Side men, locked in. Thank you to the side men for involving me. Real Oviedo. Oh, that's supposed to be a large, damn it! Said it was a large! <laughs> Don't break it. I have to put this down. 
Breathe in. <gasps> <laughs> it's stuck on all the shirt. There we go. <sighs> Uh, uh, it's like a Heimlich manoeuvre. <laughs> okay. Oh, I never put that one on. <laughs> uh oh. It's a long sleeve. <laughs> you look devo. Oh, crikey. Two kits left and I'm definitely done. Definitely done. Yeah, I mean, I've got no chance. This is a medium. Okay, you can I breathe. actually am genuinely being strangled on my neck. <laughs> I'm I can't actually breathe. Seriously, I'm panicking. Can you put the camera down? Serious? Seriously? What do you want me to do? Get it off my neck. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, you're right. It's a medium. <laughs> Get it off, stop laughing, you can't breathe. Oh my god. That was, seriously, that wasn't safe. Uh, don't, don't do this at home. <laughs> that was stuck around my neck and I couldn't breathe. She, she thought I was joking. I was choking, not joking. It's not funny. It was, wasn't it? Was it? All around I my didn't neck. know. Got like got those big collars and stuff under here. That is proper. Right, it's the last one. You're gonna do it again. It has to be the last one. I need to keep this. It's from England. England. <laughs> now you look like the Michelin Man. I feel really fat. Last top, and everything else goes. Everything must go. That really is big. Oh. oh. Serious pressure on my esophagus. <laughs> Right, we're good. Your hair. <laughs> we're locked in. So, I think we all agree I look good. <laughs> These all stay. I've had enough of your moaning, Alex, right? These stay. <laughs> Why have you done? I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. These ain't leaving. They're all staying. These are all staying. All these here. Slovenia. Right, we'll go through all the ones I'm going to give away really quickly now. And, uh, yeah. Decent. Okay, so I had to take a quick break at this point, uh, mainly to take a few tops off and just to free up my esophagus area, to be honest, because it was struggling. Anyway, I'm about to show you all the tops that I'm not keeping that could be yours if you want them. If you are interested, all you need to do is go to my Movember page with the link on the screen now or in the description, make a donation, and with the comment, tell me which shirt you'd like, and if you're the highest donator asking for that shirt, I'll get it out to you. So whoever donates the most asking for one specific shirt will get it. Simples. First up, we got this FIFA 18 EA Sports kit. Very snazzy number. FIFA, uh, Spencer FC 18 on the back. Sport Relief FIFA 18. Uh, cool, um, this is like a concept kit. It's sent to be one of the guys from the Toffee League in America. It's very different. It's got my name on the back as well. Got one of the EA Tuxedo kits. Another American League kit I got sent. I uh, really like this one actually, pink one, it's got number 6 on the back, not my name. Fathead kit, good uh, FIFA website of course, Fathead, Spencer 6 on the back. Another EA kit from FIFA 17, snazzy blue number, I think that was team of the season maybe. FIFA 18 kit, no name on the back, that one's fresh. Uh, we've got another Umbro kit, really nice American style, quite thick, good top dish, you can wear this out maybe, just about town with your friends. Um, Coca-Cola kit, Coca-Cola FIFA kit, decent, large. These are all most, mostly medium and larges. Got a cool Hummel kit, purple from Brook Hatton, Brooklyn Manhattan combined. Really cool kit, like that a lot. Slovenia kit, all you Slovenians. Dortmund kit from my FIFA career mode. Liverpool kit from when I played at Anfield with my name on the back. New York Red Bulls kit, lovely. Aha, ha 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 ha. Two hashtag United old home kits with a great story. This shirt is the shirt that sat on that mascot for about a year and a half. What you didn't know is what was on the back. You ready? Bang. Tass. Remember him? Hashtag Tass. No longer with us, of course. He's still alive. He just doesn't play the hashtag. Um, this was one of his spare kits he never needed, so I put it on the back, but obviously we've changed kits now. So that can go. And another little kit we've got here underneath is another shirt we were going to give to someone. We did give to him, but there was a spelling mistake on the first one. Vicstar123 with one less K than it needed. So there's a spare, spelt wrong, Vicstar123 old hashtag kit. They're literally the only ones in the world that exist. What else we got? Uh, yeah, it's really cool Nike kit, I like that. Another FIFA kit, brand new, FIFA 19. Rainbow kit, FIFA 18. Some Patrick's Day kit, FIFA 17. I've got so many FIFA kits. Oh, looks pretty plain. Yellow Nike kit with number six on the back. This was our Sunday League hashtag kit from last year. I wore this many times, scored zero goals in it, but got quite a few assists and hit the bar a couple of times. So if you wanna, it's clean, they've all been cleaned. But that's got, that's a memento. Mmm, memento. Another nice Umbro kit. Chris Mackey sorted me out a lot of those kits. Shout out to Chris Mackey. Really decent FIFA 18 EA kit. Scotland kit. Any of you Scottish guys out there? It's a lovely kit. I'm, I'm sad to see this go. Rapid Vienna kit. Does what it says on the tin. England Team GB kit 2012. Good Olympics for us in England. A legendary old West Ham kit. The only West Ham kit I'm letting go of. Danny Whitehead. 
You guys know, you guys know. Likewise, the only Rail Oviedo kit I'm gonna let go of from the Rail Oviedo career mode. If it means we get another Rail Oviedo fan, I'm all for that. This year's FIFA 19 EA kit. Defense FC 19 on the back, double decent. The FIFA 17 Christmas top, one of my favourites. I've worn this quite a few times. Really good number, good for Christmas, good for family get-togethers. And finally, St. Patrick's Day kit from EA. There you go, guys. So if you want any one of those shirts, leave a donation on my Movember page. Let me know what shirt you want. And if you're the person that's donated the most, ask him for that specific shirt. You'll get it. Now for the outro. See you on Sunday for the El Clasico, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. I'm presenting it. I won't be dressed like this, though. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below which your favourite kit of all the kits was. I'm very curious to know. And make sure you've got the notification bell turned on. Lots of cool videos coming soon. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. Don't go changing. Bye-bye.